Hello and welcome again to Cooking Around's channel. For you today, another special sausage and peppers pasta. Now, who does not like sausage and who does not like pasta? Put them together in a tomato sauce and look what you get. It's absolutely great. Just take a look at this. And everything is done to perfection. And I put Parmesan cheese on top. And you know, this is something that if you're going to have a get together or a party, this is just perfect because you can make it in big batches and just warm it up in the oven before the party. You need to try this and let me show you how easy this is. Grab yourself a big pan, put in one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And I want you to keep the heat on medium high. Now here I'm using about five sausages, and they are polar sausages, but you can use farmer sausages, Italian sausages, whatever you want. And I did slit them a little bit on one side. Let this go for a few minutes and just move it around. Now you can see where I slit it on one side. And why do I do that? It's because I don't want it to distort the sausage and make it look horrible when it's expanding. So. You keep on spinning around as much as you want. Who really cares until they are done? And here you go through the time lapse of the video. They are done. Now what I'd like you to do is remove them now from the pan. And don't worry what's on the bottom. That is the good part. Now I want you to take one medium onion. Here I'm using a white onion and I want you to move that around just till it becomes a little translucent. Now let's add one bell pepper, but I'm using half of yellow, half red. Why? You know, because I like the combinations of the color. The taste will be the same. So let's slice it fine like this and move that all around for a couple of minutes. Now I'm adding a dash of salt. Be careful how much salt you add because you could choose the type of sausage that has a lot of salt in it. So you have to be careful and know your sausages. As for black ground pepper, use as much as you want. Go ahead. Now let this cook for a couple of minutes and we're going to sweat out the onions and the peppers and that will release the juices from the bottom. Now let's add three minced garlic cloves. Now once again, you have to know the type of sausage you're using. Usually sausages contain a lot of garlic, depending on the type. So you pre-measure it. Now we want to get that thick tomato taste. So I'm adding tomato paste. How much? One to two tablespoons. Here I'm adding about two tablespoons because I like that thick, rich taste when it comes to sauce. Now let's add one can of mashed tomatoes. Here you can add a little bit of water just to rinse out the can if you want. And let's now mix that up, increase the heat a little bit. And we're going to cook this, you know, we'll say about uh, three minutes or so. Now let's add one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of basil, and half a teaspoon of hot pepper flakes. Now let's move it all around. Let's blend it all in and the aroma that comes from here. Unfortunately, you cannot smell it through the video, but it is really something. Now when it reaches a boil, reduce the heat cover it and let this now go for about 15 minutes and I shall be back. And we're back. Here it goes. Look at this. Absolutely awesome. Now look at that sauce. It's just becoming perfect. Now what I'd like you to do is take the sausages that you pre-fried. I wanted to slice them as thick as you want and just put it into the sauce and just move it all around and incorporate just like this. Now what I'd like you to do is cover it and let it simmer for about another 10 minutes. And once again, we're back. Here we go. How does this look? Isn't it looking really, really good? Believe me, you're going to really love this recipe. And now let's cheese it up. I'm adding here one third cup of Parmesan cheese. And this is going to give it that nice 
palate taste and it's going to combine everything together so it could even be Muto Italiano here. Now I'm really getting hungry. So what I did was I took half a package of penny pasta and I followed the instructions and I bought it but I only added a teeny weeny bit of salt to the water. So once that's done I want you to take it and put it into the pan like this and I want you to kind of like fold it in like this. Move it around and get it all blended because I want this sauce to go everywhere and you can add a little bit of the pasta water if you want at this point. And here we go. Are we finished? No. I'm adding a little bit of sliced green onions and I'm also adding parsley. Why? It's good for you and very flavorful. Now once again here I'm doing the video on my phone. Why? Because this is for the TikTok thing. You have to do the TikTok thing. So once again we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please let me know in the comments below. And once again, once again, it's goodbye from Tony and Cooking Around.